Dear future parents, I know that you want the best for your children, but I need to ask you a favor. It is about gender inequality. Don't let your children be lined by stereotypes of our society. For a long time, I have been wondering myself about the gender roles. When I was eight years old, I was puzzled when they called me bossy because I wanted to direct the future play that we would show to our parents, but that name wasn't given to the boys. When I was 14, the media started sexualizing me. At 16, my female friends didn't play anymore the sports that they liked because they didn't want to resemble masculine. When I was 18, my male friends were incapable to express their feelings. Why the world has become so uncomfortable? You teach girls to be ashamed. Close your legs, cover yourself, talk properly. You teach boys to be scared of fear, to be scared of weakness, of vulnerability. To hide his true self, because they have to be strong. Isn't it true? In a teenage relationship, both with the same amount of money in their pockets will go on a date and everyone will be expecting for the boy to pay to prove his virility. Do we really still ask ourselves why do the boys have a propensity to steal their parents' money? Then you raise girls with fragile egos, unlike boys. You show girls that they have to shrink. Why do you teach girls that they need a man to have a belly? You raise girls, making them believe that they have to be competitive between themselves. I'm not talking about jobs or achievements. I'm talking about boys, and this is also reflected in our media. Girls show it off, pretending to be someone they're not, pretending they are perfect. Stop changing us. Why don't we prize boys' virginity? Where is the difference? Some people would say that a woman is subordinated to a man in our culture. Fortunately, our culture is constantly changing, progressing. Yes, boys also roller skate, and that doesn't make them instantly gay. Girls can also be good at football and that doesn't make them less feminine. Let's get rid of stereotypes. Probably everything starts at childhood. Dear parents, this is the favor that I want to ask you, because one thing often leads to another. So please, make it stop before it happens.